All right, I'm Johnny Jamogatz, and we're here today talking about Godzilla. Godzilla, obviously he's an icon. He's good at what he does, let's be honest about that. But there was some problems with this movie. The weirdest thing about this movie was that they had some of the greatest actors alive in this movie for literally no reason. This is fucking Godzilla. We don't care about the act. Julia Binoche was in the movie. Spoiler alert, they killed her in the first five minutes of the movie. No shock a lot for you, Juliet. I don't know, maybe they were trying to make it like Drew Barrymore dying at the beginning of Scream or something. Then we had Brian Cranston, probably one of the greatest living actors. He was like an idiot in this movie. Whatever you're hiding out there, it's gonna send us back to the Stone Age. Ah, so bad. Actually, hearing myself say it, it sounds kind of good. Then Kick-Ass, or whatever his name was, was in it. He was hot, but that he was boring. And then Marcy May Marnie Marlene Olsen twin girl was there. She was e even worse. Once Godzilla sh shows up, pretty good. Godzilla, to me, is like a big, beautiful drag queen. He's not natural looking. He kind of freaks everybody out. Large and in charge. Chunky yet funky. All he really does is just like sort of be present. You know, just his presence is enough to have everyone like, that's all a lot of drag queens do. I am a giant monster. I am a supreme diva. So if I seem like a bitch, that's because I'm fucking real. He was kind of cute in this movie. He had a cute little face. And they had some good suspense in this movie. Like, you think it's Godzilla? Oh no, it's just a bird flying into the window. I think the flaw with Godzilla movies is that the only interesting part is going to be when Godzilla is fucking ripping shit apart. But if that's the whole movie, you're going to get bored. Because I love Godzilla. I love all those Showa, Toho era Godzilla movies. What they need to do is make a Monster Island movie that's got fucking Rodan, Varan, maybe Biolante, all those bitches just throw down. I once did this performance art piece where my friend dressed up like Godzilla and I ran around and screamed like an idiot. Oh my god, that's fucking Godzilla. It was at an art gallery. They got mad at me because I put my hands on the wall and they were like, he looks dirty. I, since Godzilla is basically just a big drag queen, I would like to judge this movie like an episode of Drag Race. Godzilla, on the main stage, you gave us radioactive 1950s horror realness. But in the acting challenges, we had a falling out with the script. You're saying. 